Hey guys, it's Ellie from Junk Journal Mama, and I have another journal share for you. It is a traveler's notebook size journal, and it is country and farm themed. So on the front here, I have a piece of ephemera from Lindsay Zanor, her kit country piece with some lace. I kept it simple, and a um, scrapbook paper cardstock cover. I doubled that, so it's nice and thick, and I stitched all around. So you could put this in your traveler's notebook cover if you wanted to, or just leave it like this. It does come with a lace closure. So in the front here, I have some pieces of ephemera that I got from different places. I don't remember where this is from, but this is a photo that I got from the internet of a farmhouse. And then also some ephemera from Lindsay's kit, TLC Creates Vintage. And this is from, I don't remember. It's called Slow Stitching. Uh, I will link her shop down below because I really like her. And then just a piece of ephemera I made out of some leftover tag and I stamped it. I mean, leftover scrapbook paper. And then in the front here, this is a scrapbook paper that I used. It has a little farmhouse on it. So just some printed things. This is a bigger uh, version of this house here. I know the lighting is so weird. And then I have a little mason jar, the label for you to write on, and just a pretty little lace ribbon I stitched here. Um, this is from Country Piece. This is a little envelope for you to put stuff in. A little piggy. And then some vintage uh, recipe book paper. I have a chicken there, or a rooster. One of them. In this pretty little uh, corner tuck. And then here is a large pocket that I put a cut apart in with a tab. This is from Country Piece. And lots of different digitals. This is a flip out and there's plenty of journaling space under there. And then I have an image of an old barn. And then another little farmhouse down there on this collage that I did so you could journal here. Some pretty printed paper this beautiful lady from country peace and then i have some ephemera here but my favorite is this photo of these farm hands working in the field like with the hay and stuff and i found these images online and they are copyright free and i printed on the back and then distressed it and made it look old and stuff just some other little bits and then here's another photo where i did the same thing of a old tractor and a little farm man. And this is definition of farmer, one who cultivates a farm and agriculturist, one who collects revenues, taxes, and or etc. for a certain commission or rate. So that goes on here. And then here's another piece of, well, it is a piece of vintage ephemera that I printed and then distressed. And I printed on the back so you can journal on that. Put a lot of little tabs in here and did some stamping. This is a uh, vintage farm page from a book and there's a little place to journal underneath. It's just sewn onto this page so it opens up. And here is a photo of someone's farmhouse kitchen with all of their cast iron. And a photo of these farm hands that I distressed and put in the journal. There's a farmhouse lady. You guys can see. Okay. Another vintage recipe book page. Here's another photo of some farm hands. And a little place to write a date or however you want to label that. Here's the center. Such beautiful images. I just love this kit. Um, a tiny little envelope. Another cut apart. This is from Country Piece, and then I have a piece of scrap paper underneath, and this also opens, so you can journal in there. Lots of space for journaling and making it your own. And here I have a, another piece of vintage ephemera that I found and distressed. And this is from Old Design Shop, I think. So you can do stuff on there too. And here's a smaller photo of the farmhouse men and a little label from Lindsay. And then I have a pocket here with some more 
um, digitals. This, this is pretty. I love this photo. These ladies dressed in their Sunday best, farmhouse ladies, ready to go to church or maybe a picnic. And some stuff there, some more stamping, and these little farm children are so sweet. And then here I have a little piggy, another journal card, and a cow. A piece of a uh, recipe book for strawberry jam. And then this photo of this vintage tractor. Love it. I love old farm equipment and abandoned houses and old houses and all that kind of stuff. It's very interesting to me. And here is another piece of eFarma that I distressed and folded and made it to look old. Just clipped on there with a tag and a label. And here's a pretty little place to journal. Here's another photo. A mom and son maybe. And you can journal on the back of that. And this is a little pocket here. Oh, these are supposed to go in here. So I have a cut apart and a piece of ephemera from TLC Creates Vintage. And then a photo of an old barn that I distressed. And some more ephemera. These are like uh, letter things. <laughs> like from an envelope or something. And then I just distressed it and folded it and made it all old and stuff. Love that. And then I have this lady at her little farmhouse sink, sorry. And another little punch out. I know the lighting is just so weird. I'm in my uh, she shed and there's two windows in the front and so the lighting only comes in like from this way and there's lots of shadows and stuff and I'm sorry about that. Another mason jar, a photo of a vintage farmhouse lady. This is from Old Design Shop I believe. And then on the back here I have just a piece of ephemera here glued onto the front. That's like a little notepad type deal so you can make notes in there. And then the back of that scrapbook paper so that is my country farmhouse journal. I hope you guys like it. It will be for sale, or it is for sale, in my coffee shop right now if you're interested. I will leave the link below. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.